Welcome to the Automators Podcast with your host, Jackie Stook and Joe Glines. Hey, so today we're going to talk about how to get consulting jobs without a hotkey. Give me a job. Hey everybody, so today we're going to talk about how to get consulting jobs without a hotkey and I'm Jackie from Copenhagen. I'm Joe from Dallas, Texas. Yeah, so yeah, so today we often get this question of how uh, I'm I'm new to our hotkey or I've just learned parts of it or I love our hotkey or whatever it might be and I want to do it more. It w I would even love to actually do it while I was paid to do it. And can you help me figure out how to do stuff like that? And I know Joe actually has a recent uh, one uh, up his sleeve here. Yeah, so someone wrote just saying they're looking for, you know, they, they were saying, hey, I learned auto hockey recently and I'm trying to get paid. By the way, it's perfectly okay to make money off of auto hotkey, right? That's fine. You just can't, uh, you know, the website itself and domain can't make money. We can make money using auto hotkey, no problem. Uh, but they were saying, you know, there's not a lot of people looking for jobs with auto hotkey. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> they were asking me how I do it. I'm like, I don't. I don't generally, and, and he did say, I don't have time to make a, a YouTube channel like you're doing and I have a thousand videos. And I'm like, you know, that is part of why I get people contacting me about it. But what you can do, right, is don't, don't do stuff around auto hotkey. Cause I'll tell you this, one of the biggest things is the vast majority of people that actually reach out to me specifically saying, Hey, I want you to do something for me in auto hotkey. It's usually like a $20 project, right? And it's not worth the time it takes me to respond to them in the email for what it was, you know, and, and then even then they want it all customized and stuff. So I say, you know, it's far better off to, to find um, other jobs that not aren't tied just directly to AutoHotKey, but maybe pick something like um, API calls or Excel or QuickBooks or WordPress, you know, pick some other thing that you can learn how to automate with AutoHotKey but then you go to maybe forums or, or groups on Facebook or somewhere where people are asking for help and you can el elicitate a how you could solve this with AutoHockey and then say, by the, or how you can solve it. You know, you can write a program, but don't actually do the work and then say, you know, this is what I do for a living. And if you're interested, I could solve this for you using a free scripting tool, right? Which doesn't cost any money. Uh, but, but that's what I would, that's probably my number one tip is what I would say. Yeah, I'd say that I, I even say you, you had more than one tip in there, Joe. And the general thing is you have found our hotkey. You love the other hotkey forum. You talk to people in the other hotkey chats or whatever it might be. But these are almost all people who are trying to learn our hotkey themselves. There's very few people within that community who's looking to hire an other hotkey developer. You don't see many people in the C++ forum looking to hire C++ developers, right? It, that's something that happens elsewhere. And sure enough, as Joe, he said himself, uh, if you go looking for our hotkey specific projects or someone who wants to hire someone who's good at our hotkey, the budget of that project will probably be pretty low because people who know our hotkey beforehand and can't program it in in it themselves probably have quite a limited knowledge of what it can do. So they'll be thinking that for twenty dollars I can probably get a few hot strings and a good hotkey that can do this single thing for me. It will probably not be something that really pushes you in your auto hotkey knowledge. So within reason, try and hang out somewhere else than the auto hotkey forum, somewhere where people are trying to get automations done. This might be in um, Excel form, or it might be on some kind of online service, whatever it might be. Uh, so, so yeah, it's probably not in the other hotkey community, you'll find other hotkey jobs. Yeah, right. And sorry, I looped over a couple of those. I didn't realize I was um, continuing to read, but yeah, it is. It's one of those things. It's 
it's difficult to uh, love auto hotkey. And, and I love the people I end up helping, but the people that reach out to me for particular things about when they say I'm trying to do X in auto hotkey, uh, it's, I always know I'm not making money on it, <laughs> right? It's yeah. I'm helping someone, you know, and I'm fine with that. Uh, but when customers and businesses reach out trying to solve a problem, and that's the other big one is, what kind of problem are you solving for them, right? Always hit home on the, don't talk about the scripting language. Don't talk about how you're going to actually write the program. They don't care. They're coming to you because you know what you're doing. Talk about the pains that they're going through and how you can streamline it and make it more reliable and faster and more consistent, right? All Those are all the things they're going to care about. And um, when you're yeah, in the week, yeah, go ahead, Jackie. Yeah, exactly. And and you can use the Hotkey Forum to present things that you've made, done, solved, stuff like that. That could be a, a type of uh, CV or whatever you would call those. Uh, and, and the same with YouTube videos. You might not have the time or, or uh, the inclination to make as many videos as someone like Joe does. But if you then choose a topic, right? I want to be uh, the best at automating QuickBooks or, or whichever uh, thing it might be, um, go for that. Make 10 videos about you doing that, if, if you can manage 10, or make five, whatever you can, um, because then you have something out there that someone might reach out to you for because they want to automate something in QuickBooks or whichever topic you choose because they'll be looking for stuff in their topic, not for our hotkey specifically. The, the, that's that's the, the thing. So if you want to do stuff with our hotkey, don't look for our hotkey jobs, look for automation jobs in something else, and then use our hotkey to solve it. I was going to rephrase slightly. We said, if you want to make money, you know, on the stuff with auto hotkey, that's where you, because you can definitely get projects to do with auto hockey, but you, yeah, you're just not going to make much money on it, sadly, when you're helping other people, you know, that ask for it with auto hockey. Now, um, it is just on to me another, it's a really cool tip. I was watching, I attended a Dave D uh, seminar on last Friday. He does amazing, great stuff for teaching people how to uh, sales lead gen stuff. And this general um, video, it was an hour long and it was, it was really good, but I can summarize the, the really good, interesting parts. So he talks about like a lead gen thing. And, and Jackie, you mentioned earlier, you, know, you don't have to make a whole channel, but make, make four or five videos, right? And it, when you said that, I'm like, you know, on my LinkedIn profile, I think I have four or five of my videos in my LinkedIn profile. So people can see, and those are really old. I should put some new ones. But, the you know, it allows people to very quickly see you have a clue what you're doing, right? Yeah. And what's really important is those videos – don't make them super polished. Don't they, don't make them marketing videos, right? Make that where, because virtually anybody can come across if you polish something and make it without any errors, it, you can come across as uh, like this lynda.com level, right? No matter how much with editing and acting and retrying, you can make it look good. When you do something on the fly, and which is what I often do, right? You'll see it's not perfect, but you know what? I get the job done. And people know it's me doing the work, right? So it's yeah. one of the great ways you can build credibility is doing something like that. Now, in this seminar, I'm going to give you the real, this is a, was a really brilliant idea is create, a, a, a get interviewed by someone. So let's say, Jackie, you might interview me as an automation expert. It'd be kind of funny with because <laughs> people would see clearly we have a relationship, right? Because the point is it's, supposed, it's not supposed to be a sales tool, but this is what it is. When you interview me, Suddenly there's credibility and you're you're asking me questions. I'm answering about, oh, how I would do this and why I do that, you know, but not in the programming sense, just a general level. But you start I become this credible expert, right? And then at the end, you you would ask me, Well, Joe, how does someone get in contact? This sounds really amazing. Like you can save all this time with Aki. How does someone get a hold of you? Oh, well, here you can book a, a calendar meeting, you know, with me right here. Um, and you put your information out. That should be like a 10 to 15 minute video max, right? But it's a great lead gen tool. Um, and it works really well because the other person, you're not bragging about how great you are. The other person is asking you not how great you are, but right, how are you doing these things? And it becomes this really magical kind of thing. And people love short videos. So yeah. it is nice to, to be able to have a short video, not too long. Like the 
and that was never our goal, Jackie, for the webinars, the hour long, you know, or two hours, mm-hmm. two and a half hours sometimes. Um, we were trying to educate people in auto hockey, but all that stuff we did helped people to come to us to go, wow, you really clearly know auto hockey, right? Because of uh, what we've done. Uh, but that isn't how you do this. This is a shorter video, just to the point, and just showing you have a clue what you're doing and that you're a decent person, right? Like, yeah. It helps really get people, they get a flavor. Videos, people love videos nowadays. They don't have time for really long PDFs to read. They're just kind of a waste of time. So, Yeah, and and try and hit, hit that sweet spot with your thing, right? Depending on whichever area it is, some things might uh, take eight, eight minutes and some things might take two minutes. Whatever, uh, try, try and keep it within uh, reason for whatever topic it is, because if it's rock and science, it's fair enough. You can't do it in 30 seconds, but uh, yeah, try and keep it to, to a fair minimum of just rambling. But as Joe said, also, it's better to get something out there than just trying to keep polishing it, because if you're supposed to do the work, why not let them actually see you do work? Yeah, I actually used that line this morning in a, in a client meeting. I said, uh, I'm a big believer in version one is infinitely better than version none. And we could spend forever trying to polish this thing up, but there's still going to be things that need to get changed. So, you know what? Why don't you get something that's not terrible, you know, put it out there, and then your next one's a little better, right? And that's what Jackie and I both know from doing these things for I don't know how many years now. Uh, over time, you just develop, it's from practice. You get better at it and better at it. And now it's so much easier and there's no stress, right? I remember the first time we did a live thing, especially like, oh, mercy, I was stressed out. Now it's, it's I'm numb to it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's interesting. But yeah, yeah, I've, I've talked with both friends and others as well. And the more you do a thing, it, it just becomes second nature. You, um, Many people are also like, how do they do it on television? But it's just because they've done it so many times. So, yeah. So I hope that helps. Uh, let me know. If, in, in, as uh, the person wrote in to us in the first place, if you write in really good questions, especially that can help a lot of people, you know, often we can address it in the podcast, right? So we, we like getting ideas for podcasts. Very uh, happy to do that. Yeah. Just, don't, you know, saying, how do you write a script that, sends this mouse click 80 times like we're not doing a podcast on that <laughs> no we've covered that many times over in in other uh, medias yeah but yeah having a more advanced kind of qu- general topic especially one that doesn't lend not that we won't do a podcast on programming but um, one that we can talk through the pros and cons of doing something that it's, it's really helpful to have topics from you guys so reach out to everyone yeah goodbye